Let us say, Amen for the word of God for us. Jesus is worthy of praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us say, Praise the Lord. Give him praise. Amen. Let us say, Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Lord's Supper. The lesson study for this Palm Sunday, Sunday, April 2nd, 2023, is entitled The Lord's Supper. This is the fifth study lesson of the 2023 Spring Quarter Study Series of The Church of God in Christ, Sunday School Study Plan, for studying the Holy Bible. The central focus for this Spring Quarter is on hope. Our new study unit 2, for the month of April this Spring Quarter is entitled, Resurrection Hope. The reference applications for this lesson are taken from the book of St. Luke, chapter 22, verses 14 through 30. And when the hour was come, he sat down, and the twelve apostles with him, and he said unto them, With desire I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer, for I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof, until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he took the cup, and gave thanks, and said, Take this, and divide it among yourselves, for I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine, until the kingdom of God shall come. And he took bread, and gave thanks, and brake it, and gave unto them, saying, This is my body which is given for you, this do in remembrance of me. Likewise also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you. But, behold, the hand of him that betrayeth me is with me on the table, and truly the Son of Man goeth, as it was determined, but woe unto that man by whom he is betrayed. And they began to inquire among themselves, which of them it was that should do this thing. And there was also a strife among them, which of them should be accounted the greatest. And he said unto them, The kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and they that exercise authority upon them are called benefactors. But ye shall not be so, but he that is greatest among you, let him be as the younger, and he that is chief, as he that doth serve. For whether is greater, he that sitteth of meat, or he that serveth, is not he that sitteth at meat. But I am among you as he that serve. Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations, and I appoint unto you a kingdom, as my Father hath appointed unto me, that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Today's Sunday School Prayer Dear Father, we humble our hearts before you today, in obedience, every knee should bow down, and every tongue should confess before you, because you are Lord of life and we surrender our will to you. We ask you to forgive us, as we forgive others, and deliver us from temptations today. Lord please help us to stand upon the solid rock of your foundation, in Jesus Christ, like Moses stood, so that your children that belong to you, can cross over safely through the sea of chaos, and choppy waters, during the storms of life. We need your strength to stand and proclaim your goodness, and salvation to those that are drowning in their sins. Give us knowledge, skills, and guidance through your Holy Spirit-empowered Holy Word of God today. We ask in your Son Jesus' name. Amen. Our Sunday School study motto is from 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Today's lesson background assignment is to read Dr. Luke's Gospel, from chapter 22, verses 14 through 30, and incorporate the background study into today's lesson study. Today's Bible Truth Jesus believed in service. Today's memory verse But ye shall not be so, but he that is greatest among you, let him be as the younger, and he that is chief, as he that doth serve. Luke 22 26 Lesson aim After participating in this lesson, all participants should be able to Recognize that even Jesus believed in service Reflect on the sacrificial elements of the Lord's Supper Share the sacrifices of our Lord with others Life need for today's lesson. 
to observe the sacrificial elements of the Lord's Supper. Bible Learning Jesus said those who serve others will eat the bread and sip the wine at the table he has set for them in heaven. Bible Application To understand how we can better serve others. Students' Responses Students will develop a plan to share our Lord's sacrifice with others. In our background study for today's lesson, we will begin our review study of today's lesson with Luke chapter 21, verses 36 and 37. We observe that Jesus had warned his disciples about the future coming day of the Lord's judgment upon Jerusalem, the city called, the Jewish peace, in Luke chapter 21, and concluded his warning with verse 36. Luke 21 36. So then, be vigilant at all times, pleading that you might be deemed worthy to escape all these things which are about to happen, and to stand in front of the Son of Man. This verse gives us some valuable insights into the emotional thinking, and critical thinking of the disciples, in particular that of Judas of Iscariot, and helps explain his reaction to the warning from his Messiah Rabbi Jesus, about the day of the Lord's judgment. Luke 21 37. During the days he was teaching in the temple, and at nights going and spending the night on the mountain, the one called of Olives, and early in the morning, all the people were coming to him in the temple to hear him. Luke chapter 21, verse 37 tells us that The living word of God, Jesus, the Christ was what we call today on social media, an influencer, with many followers. The truth will set you free today. Only liars and manipulators are afraid of the truth, coming out to the populace, the chief priests, scribes, and rulers adore Jesus, because he always, as the living word of God, told the truth to people, about them, and their evil deeds, and immoral lifestyle, and the truth about God's relationship to them, and mankind. Matthew 5.20 for I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 21:15. And when the chief priests and scribes saw the wonderful things that he did, and the children crying in the temple, and saying, Hosanna to the son of David, they were sore displeased. Matthew 23, 2 saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. Matthew 23 13 But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, for ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Matthew 23 14 Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye devour widows' houses, and for a prudence make long prayer, therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. Matthew 23:15. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye compass sea and land to make one proselyte, and when he is made, ye make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. Matthew 23:23. 23, 23. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Matthew 23:25. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. For ye make clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. Matthew 23:27. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones, and of all uncleanness. Matthew 23:29. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites because you build the tombs of the prophets, and garnish the sepulchres of the righteous. Matthew 23 34 Wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets, and wise men, and scribes, 
and some of them ye shall kill and crucify, and some of them shall ye stir in your synagogues, and persecute them from city to city. Luke 23:37 gives us insight into the thinking, a mindset of the chief priests, and scribes, and provides us with a reason that they plotted to kill Jesus. The chief priest and scribes lorded over the children of Israel, and at times with Roman support, suppressed them, and oppressed them unrighteously, with the rich getting richer, and the poor getting poorer. The chief priest, scribes, and rulers, changed, or enforced Jewish laws for personal gain, and could excommunicate people at will, or even executed Jewish judgment upon people and stoned them to death all under the guise of obeying the Levitical laws of the prophet Moses. Luke 22, verse 1 and 2 The Plot to Kill Jesus Now, the festival of unleavened bread, which is called Passover, was drawing near, and the chief priests and scribes were seeking how they might kill him, because they were afraid of the people. Luke 22, verses 3 through 6 Judas to betray Jesus and Satan entered into Judas, the one usually called Iscariot, one of the twelve, and he went off in disgust with the chief priests and the officers of the temple guards about how he might hand him over to them, and they rejoiced and they agreed together to give him silver, and he consented, and he sought an opportunity to hand him over to them away from the crowd. About the Jewish Passover Feast of Unleavened Bread Our lesson study today takes us to the time of the last word of God officially sanctioned, Passover, also known as, the festival of unleavened bread, written into Jewish law by Moses. The reason it is the last official Passover is because the word of God, Jesus, the Christ replaced it with the practice of communion, which Christian churches, celebrate religiously, in the remembrance of the suffering of Jesus, the Christ, his death, his burial, and his resurrection, from the dead and sacred communion is taken by Christian believers, as often, as possible, in keeping with the commands of the living word of God, Jesus, the Christ. The original Passover feast of unleavened bread took place in Egypt, where the children of Israel were slaves under the Pharaoh of Egypt. The word of God instructed Moses to have the children of Israel, in the land of Egypt, to slay an innocent lamb, and sprinkle upon exterior of the doorpost of their dwelling the blood of the slain innocent lamb, and to eat also eat the meat of the lamb, with unleavened bread. The word of God sent the death angel into Egypt that night, and every household that did not have the blood of a lamb, sprinkled upon the exterior of the doorpost of their dwelling, that night, suffered the loss of the life, of their firstborn son, including the pharaoh of Egypt's household. The Pharaoh of Egypt soon afterwards freed the slaves of the children of Israel, and Moses the prophet, that had led the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, was instructed to celebrate annually, under the law of Moses, the Passover feast of unleavened bread. Luke 22, verse 7 through 13 The Passover with the disciples. Then came the day of unleavened bread on which the Passover has to be sacrificed, and he sent Peter and John off, saying, Go and prepare the Passover for us, so we may eat it. But they said to him, Where do you want us to prepare it? And he said to them, Look, when you enter into the town a person carrying a clay jar of water will meet you. Follow him into the house he is going to, and say to the owner of the house, The teacher sent us to say to you, Where is the lodging where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? And he will show you a large upper room with places all around it. Prepare things there, and they went away, and they found things just as he had said to them, and they prepared the Passover. Luke 22, verses 14 through 23 Institution of the Lord's Supper And when the hour came, Jesus reclined with his twelve disciples to eat, and he said to them, I have deeply desired to eat this Passover meal with you, before my suffering, for I say to you, that I will no longer eat of it, at all, until it is fulfilled, in the kingdom of God. And he accepted the cup, and when he had given thanks, he said, Take this and share it amongst yourselves. For I say to you, that I will not drink of the produce of the grapevine, at all until the kingdom of God has come. 
And he took the bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and offered it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given on your behalf, do this in order to remember me. And similarly after dining, the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out on your behalf, except look, the hand of the one who's handing me over is with me on the table, and indeed the son of man is going as it's been determined, but woe to the person through whom he's handed over, and they began to discuss among themselves which one of them it might be who was about to commit this thing. Luke 22, verses 24 through 30 Who is the greatest? And a rivalry arose amongst them, about which of them was thought to be the greatest. And he said to them, The kings of the nations lord it over them, and those in authority over them are called benefactors. But it isn't this way with you. Let the greatest among you become like the youngest, and the leader like the one who serves. For who's greater, the one who reclines or the one who serves? Isn't it the one who reclines? But I'm in the midst of you like one who serves, and you, you're the ones who've remained with me throughout my trials, and I'm conferring a kingdom on you, just as my father conferred it on me, so that you may eat and drink at my table in the kingdom, and you may sit on thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. 